All right, all right. My name is Nigel Chambers of Big Old Belt. It's a pleasure to talk to the three of you all today. How you feeling? I'm great. Fantastic. Any pressure? Yes, man. Just announced that you all were going to be opening up WrestleMania. How you feeling about that? Pressure? No. Excitement? Yes. <laughs> we were meant to do this. We were destined to do this. Yeah. It's our moment, man. We have, we have this is our first WrestleMania together, so we're, we're stoked. We're kicking down the door and opening it. That makes it even better. Absolutely. That's actually the first we've heard of it. So, uh, but. We're ready. So yeah. if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I know we're at a WWE event, but I just want to go back um, a little bit in my fandom. The reason why I love tag team wrestling is what you all were doing in ROH and with the late great Jay Briscoe just passing. I just want to take a moment to give you all uh, to talk about some of those moments during the ring with the Briscoe brothers and just with his legacy and y'all legacy that y'all created in that ring and for all the tag team wrestling uh, to this day. We actually just, someone just asked us who our toughest opponent was, and uh, we mentioned the Briscoes because we've never been hit harder. <laughs> no, I was, I was in a. Uh, a motorcycle wreck in 2014 that should have killed me. Um, I, you know, and I guarantee the Briscoes hit me harder than that motorcycle wreck. Uh, I mean, they they are not only were not only our toughest opponents, but 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 they were our favorite opponents. Uh, and inside and out of the ring, they were brothers, they were family. So like, I I can't talk about it too much without crying. But uh, you know, I just I have nothing. We we have nothing but love for. Uh, the Briscoes, um, you know, the family, the kids, everybody, like it's it's a heartbreaking tra tragedy and um, now it's just, you know, people are living in, in Jay's honor, you know what I mean, and continuing that legacy and continuing that, that uh, thing, it's just, uh, it's hard and, and it makes you think about things a lot more because we're not promised tomorrow. You know, that, that I think more than anything, like we're not promised tomorrow, like someone like that you, you, he's so steadfast. He's so strong. He's so, he's so, um, genuine. just, just genuine and real and, and there. Like you always count on him, and and for him to be taken, makes you all, everyone's vulnerable. Yeah, everyone's vulnerable, and everybody you you cannot count on tomorrow. So you've got to make today count. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot about our time in Ring of Honor with the Briscoes, and in a business where there's a lot of people who are very selfish and are not willing to give. That's all that they ever did for us. They, if with there's them, no, there's no us on a national, international scale without the Briscoes. There is no us. They were just, they just gave so much to us. Uh, it didn't have to. It had no reason to do that. And they just continued to give and give and give. And they, they made who we are. And we're forever grateful and forever heartbroken for what's happened. I think it attests like to just the Briscoe legacy that they were such great wrestlers. But all anyone can talk about is how great of people they were and how great of a father he was and how great of a family man and husband he was. And it was. It was a blow that this generation of wrestling and generations after, because we can't stop talking about it, we'll, won't forget. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for that. Um, one thing I really appreciate you all from what you all over the years is how you involve, as a family, a cohesive family, invite us to be a part of your family. <laughs> I just want to take a little minute, a moment to give you two to talk about uh, parenthood and, and how that beautiful experience has been for you two. It's the most amazingly hard, amazing, difficult, amazing thing I've ever done. Um, I, I didn't actually want to be a mother until I met Eric. And uh, to be uh, with him and around his family and around the family we have at WWE with my child has given me a purpose that I've never had before. Like wrestling is very, um, it takes, you know, no matter how much you give to it, it keeps what's more and what's more and what's more. And I've never felt so complete and at peace with myself that I have such a clear defined purpose in raising my beautiful, perfect son. And it, we bring him everywhere. He's at every show. He's at. Rey Mysterio tries so hard to be friends with Cash. Cash ain't messing with nobody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair. The perspective is weird for Cash. Uh, but and having Ivar growing up with Cash, like he's gonna be a staple in Cash's life, and that makes me happy. And it's been it's been amazing. And actually, this junket is the longest I've ever been away from him. He's upstairs oh. with his grandparents right now, and I'm oh. like, is he okay? Is he okay? <laughs> Anything to say about our beautiful son? He's just so proud. Uh, so proud. Yeah, I mean, nothing nothing that I can say better than than what you said. It's uh, it's. You know where where we go, he goes. So it's a it's a cool thing, and it's like we're we do so much, and like WWE has been so amazing and supportive of us being parents and bringing bringing cash on the road with us, and like you know, and and, and we're not the only ones that bring family with us. You know what I mean? Uh, Seth and Becky and Rhonda and Lacey, and you know, there's 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 a lot of babies backstage now, which is a really cool <laughs> thing, and it's changed so much even since when we came with the company. It's 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 evolved and it's changed, but like. There's all these really amazing moments and memories that he won't remember, but we will never forget. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And, and it's something that like is is such a cool thing, and like thank God that we have pictures and videos because like 
there are things that like even and it and it happens because we're on the road so much because we move so much like like he's grown up so fast yeah so fast so and so much, much yeah. and like we have these these moments in time that you know snapshots and stuff like that to be able to look back on and, and reflect so it's it's really really wonderful thing that's beautiful i won't hold you on much longer i just got to talk about obviously the biggest question here it's wrestlemania and as the fans we look for one thing the interest is now, the wedding was already spectacular. That felt WrestleMania ish. How are y'all gonna top that? Or is that even the plan to top the wedding? Uh well, we'll have Tani there. Um and like at our in our wedding entrance, so that'll be nice. Um I'll be there. I think uh our entrance, I I mean tune our own horns, but our entrance is freaking awesome just in itself. And having the WrestleMania just atmosphere around it is gonna be I'm glad I have a mask on because I might be like, Ooh. but uh yeah, I mean, I'm I'm excited for our entrance as much as anyone else. Yeah, we had some cool ones in NXT, TakeOver, yeah. uh, but nothing's going to be cooler than walking out onto the WrestleMania stage. So, Try not to trip or something. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a good rest of your thank day. You, and ready to knock it out come WrestleMania. Thank you. Guys. <laughs> thank you.